the diversity of Aotearoa on full display. Kiwi setting out to celebrate no matter the weather. This is probably one of the windiest days we've had uh, in the five years we've been here. Uh, but as you can see, people still flock here and still want to go out and take part. Hands-on learning on offer at Te Puia and Rotorua too. More than a thousand people attending today's event to learn more about Māori culture. <laughs> Tent scenes at Waitangi this week. Today replaced with whānau fun. It's lovely to see all types of people here, like many races and faces and even from different places. For some it was all about the kai. And put muscle fritter and a power fritter all in one. It's yummy. Māori pride on display around the motu with councils and local iwi organising community events. My wife's a Kiwi so yeah coming into the country and learning all about that really interesting for me and really want to be involved and, and just be involved with everything. Others getting up close with our founding document at the National Library. For some it's the first time they've seen Te Tiriti. I think times are changing and for me to be informed I have to come to these things. There was a misunderstanding including the word sovereignty which there was no tr translation into Māori. In the South Island, Naitahu held commemorations at Te Rau Aroha Marae in Bluff. The event close to one of the locations where the treaty was signed. It's always a reflection of those that have gone before us and the sacrifices that they made. This year, the government's change in direction is also on the agenda. There's real potential that we will move backward. So for Ngaitahu Whānui and for all those attending today, it's about discussing the opportunities and how we can move forward together as a nation. A day of remembrance and education, however people choose to participate. Kate Nicole williams Swan News.